Hello, my name is Terry. I'm an electrical contractor. I've been doing this for 30 years. And what we're doing is we're installing a whole, a complete home surge protection device in the home. It's made by Eaton. Um, it has to cover both phases, A and B phase. And what we're gonna do is um, just put it together and hopefully you'll be able to understand. If there's any th further questions, um, please let me know and uh, we'll go from here. So we have an Eaton panel, um, it's a BR type. So we are going to be using a BR type breaker um, in the whole house protection. It gives us information on this, um, what type of breaker to use. Let's see if we can find it real quick. Here it is. Right here is the top one what we're using, which is a two pole 15. We have to use that. Um, they come in different sizes. That model number should match with this model number here, and it tells you the exact size breaker that you will need for your whole house protection. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the panel. We're gonna remove the panel and go ahead and install this. So let's get going. As you notice, I'm moving the top breaker, the top screws and the bottom screws first before I move the middle ones because this makes it easier to take the panel cover off and you're not going to be tripping breakers. Now we can see what the panel looks like. We can mount this pretty much anywhere that we can get this to fit, okay? And it says closest to the main breaker. Um, it really doesn't matter. We could stick it up here. We could stick it anywhere. Um, as long as we have room, some people just throw it in the bottom and mount it. But we're gonna go ahead and um, mount this and get it going. Okay, since we found a nice location for the SPD, which we're gonna come down here, I've already started to mount one screw, as you can see, and then I'm going to mount two so it doesn't move around. Okay, so now this is mounted. It's okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to relocate the breaker for the stove circuit to an upper part so we can actually put the SPD close as we can to the main power coming in. Um, they require the shortest amount of run, so the wire's very tight, so we'll be able to get it all in and be able to get it hooked up. When we remove a breaker, we make sure it's off because if not, you're going to get an arc. So, especially if the appliance is being used, but now we've turned it off to make sure it's safely. So what we do is grab our fingers here. If we still have power, wear some gloves. If you're not an electrician, if you're an electrician, you know how to do this. Just go ahead, pull it back. It pops right out and then slide it forward a little bit because these hooks right here will grab onto the barriers right here that hold the breaker in place. So now we're going to move it up here. We're going to cockeye it in a little bit like that. Make sure it is. And then we're going to push it. Simple. Very simple process of doing this. And so we're going to hook up the breaker. Back. It's off. So there's not going to be any arcing um, whatsoever. And we're going to put the wires back in. And when we do, we'll remark the panel showing that the soap circuit has been moved to a different location. Make sure the wire is completely in before you tighten down the screws. Never hold onto this when you're touching, um, tightening up the breakers. It's just a safety thing. Okay, now you can see it's been relocated. So now what I'm gonna do is, since this unit requires a two pole 15, you can see how it's in the middle. It's in a trip position. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna snap it in. This means it's not gonna have any current to it because it's in a trip position, so it kills all the power. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna wire in the neutral and the ground first. 
And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, and make sure you don't overlap your neutrals in your ground. So we're gonna do the neutral bar here. We're just gonna go ahead, take the protection off of it. We're gonna put the wire in there and we're gonna tighten it up. And so forth, we're gonna do the ground. Some of you might need to relocate some of the um, wires, your neutral wires and ground wires to fit this into your panel. Just make sure you have the main breaker turned off so you're not losing power to the, to the house because once you do that, you can get arcing off the neutrals. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just tuck it down here neatly so it's out of the way. And now, it really doesn't matter if the red or the black goes here or here. It's covering both phases. So we're gonna put this in. Okay, so all we are is going to do is clean this up a little bit, make it a little bit better looking. Okay, so now we've installed it. Next thing is, if it's in trip position, you have to turn it all the way off. See how I put my foot here, finger here and here? Make sure it's all the way off before you flip it on. If you look down there, the green lights are on. You're good. Your, your home protection system is installed. It's working. And the only thing that we have to do now is just put the cover on. If you have any further questions or videos that you'd like to see, please email us. Let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know how we're doing. Appreciate it. Thank you.